three months later and as many used parts as I could muster up we have something that resembles a car again so the subframes in the floor from one car the remnants of one that I found in Quebec I put a eight and three quarter I'm not sure if it's a sure grip or not, I'm going to find out, probably when I end up trying it out. So we got floors again, both midsections, back, everything's joined together. Found a decent K member for it. Um, the front subframes, the original ones. So this car was pulled from the front and it bent them both in. And there were no rear subframes on it when I got it. They were completely gone. But anyway, painted up, ready f for the motor and all the garbage to go back on the firewall. And then I come across this. So, I don't know, I bought it in February. There was three feet of snow on it. There was things I didn't see, like that dent. And, well, a little bit of rot, but for what I'm used to dealing with, this isn't terrible. The subframes on this car are actually intact. A couple holes in the floor, but not a big deal. This thing came out of Florida and sat for a couple of decades here. But it definitely has its good points. Water probably got in and just sat. Made some holes in the floor, but I mean, for what I'm used to, this is this should be a pretty easy one. It's a '67 Coronet with a 318, and I started stripping it out because I had to leave it at the wrecking yard until I made room parts tend to walk away at places like that so Very workable. The front end was missing off this when I found it. But I think it's the same as a 66-67 Charger. And if that's the case, I know where there's a few of those. 